It's the 1986 World Series and the Boston Red Sox are winning by two runs in the last inning with two outs and two strikes on the batter. They win this game over the Mets and they win the World Series. Bill Buckner, the, the first baseman, has a very easy slow ground ball hit to him that goes through his legs and goes down as one of the worst chokes of all time. The Mets rally and go on to win the World Series. Or how about John McEnroe's choke when in the 1984 French Open he lost to Yvonne Lindel. After leading two sets to zero and not having lost a match all year, McEnroe only needed one more set to win the Grand Slam title. In the third set, his famous temper tantrum was ignited by a cameraman who was too noisy for him. Right after that, his game fell apart and Lindel won the next three to deny McEnroe the win. Choking. Why does it happen? Because of fear and too much thinking. So what's the solution? At game time, the simple solution is to be able to channel all of your mental energy into one action. In other words, the answer is focus. Now I've heard from a lot of athletes that they have trouble focusing, especially when under pressure. They tell me that a, a little voice in their head starts creating doubts and worries and, and this triggers a, a tension or nervousness feeling when, and that's what really sets them up perfectly for that choke. Now I teach techniques for improving your focus in the Mental Toughness Academy, but let me suggest to you right now that you already have a very good ability to focus your mind. You just have to become aware of the fact that you use your focusing ability in other areas of your life and that you can bring that ability over to competition. So here's an example. I regularly do workshops with youth sports teams for players as young as 11 and 12. At one particular wrestling team talk, I asked the boys if they had any trouble focusing before and during their match and they all raised their hands. I then asked them, so who plays video games? And most of them also raise their hand again, right? I then ask, so how long do you need to focus for a wrestling match? About five minutes was the consensus answer. And about how long do you play video games for? Some of them admitted to playing for hours without being distracted. And the parents in attendance attested to that. I asked a few more detailed questions to find out how each young wrestler managed to focus like that for so long and they couldn't really answer it very well. But how you focus really doesn't matter now, does it? Don't even worry about how you do it. All you have to do is notice that you do it in one area of your life and decide that you can do it again at game time. I can almost see the light bulbs going off in their head when they put two and two together between their video game playing and their wrestling for focus. Now here's the really great news. You really only need that focus ability for a very short time when under pressure to avoid that choking. You don't need to focus for an hour like when you play a video game, so this should be really easy, right? And it gets even better. You can practice recalling your focus ability in many areas of your daily life. Just notice how you do it and your thinking when you do focus. Parents, this works the same as focusing at work at times, right? So do you focus when you're watching your favorite TV show? Do you focus when you're playing on Facebook and writing to somebody? Do you focus when reading a really good book you like? Aren't you having as much fun in your sport as playing a video game? See how easy it is that you naturally know how to focus when you're doing something you enjoy? This is what keeps that little voice in your head silent and stops the choking. See, if Buckner had just called on that super focusing ability he'd used countless times to feel those easy ground balls, or if Macro had kept his focus when he was up 2-0, then neither one of them would have choked like they did. There are endless opportunities for you to practice your mental toughness so that when crunch time comes and the game is on the line, you stop all that choking and you come through with the trophy raised above your head. I'm Craig Sigal, your mental toughness trainer. Let's do this. <laughs>